hello my beautiful people welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna clean this disaster of a house um everything is gross and disgusting because you know from my last video you know that we've been through a lot so you know i've taken a break of cleaning which you know stuff happens but you'll see like it's pretty gross <laughs> i feel like terrible about it but you know that's life so i hope you do enjoy and let's get right to cleaning all right so we're gonna start in the bathroom which i mean it's okay but if you take a closer look yep the sink is disgusting encounters and then we got a couple of things to pick up here. And if I have time, I should wash this bath. And then the toilet, trash and stuff. And then I don't know if you can see, but you know, it's pretty gross. Like I said, haven't had time to clean, you know. So let's get right to it. All right, so I'm gonna show you this massive rock. Like, where does this come from? <laughs> My kids always bring in rocks. Does your kids do that? Cause mine, I find rocks all over the place. So I'm just gonna wipe down the washer and dryer because it's very dusty from the lint. So I'm just gonna wipe those down and get them all cleaned. Alright, now we're gonna flip the laundry, get all these whites in my room so I can get to folding them later. And then everything I need to put in the dryer and get them all um, dried. Uh, so my dryer has been all weird. It hasn't dried. I always have to start it twice to make it dry. So I don't know if like the tube is like blocked from all the lint. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to investigate in that. Speaking of lint, so let's get this cleaned up so it can actually dry a little bit better. Not that it will, but you know, <laughs> I still I still had to start it twice because it was still damp. All right, now we're gonna take care of this disgusting corner. I'm just putting away a toilet paper on the shelf, and I'm just gonna dump the trash in my trash bag. Um, and for all of you wondering about um, the, the crayons, I sprayed and washed it and it all came out. I was super happy about it, like so proud. Um, there's a pair of pins that I missed the first time around that like it got caught in the pockets. So it was like a huge purplish pink stain, which I sprayed washed it once, like let it sit for a while. It came out a little bit more but i'm gonna have to do another round of spray and wash and i bet it'll all come out so if ever it happens to you try a spray and wash let it sit for a while and it'll come out And I also just want to thank everybody so much for your kind words and encouragement about what's going on with my little children. I mean, it was just very so sweet of all of you. And I just want to thank you so much for supporting me and being here with me. Thank you again.
All right, so now we're gonna head into uh, the bathroom counter. We're gonna just put everything away that needs to put away. Then gonna wipe it down and wipe down the sink also, and then fill up the soap. So here I put my uh, makeup brushes aside because I wanted to wash them but obviously I did not get around to that but they really need a good cleaning because you know they're really dirty. Right now that the bathroom counter is all cleaned off, I'm gonna head into the shower bath and just wipe it down. I didn't do like the whole walls and stuff. I just did uh, the biggest part where we actually, you know, take the bath. So I'm gonna wipe that down and clean it off. Alright, now that it's all scrubbed down, I'm just gonna wash it off with uh, the head of the shower. So just wipe everything down so it's all nice and clean. All right, so my two-year-old loves to play with the cat food, so that's why there's so much on the ground beside the bowl, because, you know, he loves to put it in the water, eat it, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, so that's why there's a lot of cat food around the bowl. Here I'm just washing the water bowl just quickly and putting new water in there and then I'll put the other bowl right back down where it belongs and then I'm just gonna wipe the wall because there's a lot of you know dust from the food and stuff so it's kind of gross so I wiped it down. Mm -hmm. 
So here's the after. You'll notice that a soap bottle is upside down. I got a lot of soap uh, at the end of the bottle. If you just put it upside down, it's great. So you don't waste any, especially with the prices nowadays. So let's not waste any soap. So I got a bunch of it and the toilet is now freaking clean and not gross anymore. So we're gonna head into the kids room. Like you can see, it's a disaster. There's a lot of stuff on the ground. So we're just gonna hop in and clean it up. Right, so this is like a ripped toy so if your stuff is ripped or broken throw it away don't keep it because there's no use for it all right here i had no idea what it was but it's kind of looked like water with sticky stuff so i just like wiped it down and you know got a good clean off of it i will be uh mopping the floors here later in the video Right here you'll see me like throw away a bunch of like stuffed animals how many stuffed animals is too many stuffed animals or stuffed teddies or you know that those kinds of things because i mean there's a lot i should get like a bin and put them in there so they are not always all over the floor and then there's bees that my two-year-old loves to put in his mouth like now he's up to like three to four at a time so i need to put those away so he doesn't get to them and now i am sweeping the floors because they need it <laughs> Alright, so this is like peanut butter. <laughs> yep, very gross mirror. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and grab the carpet that goes into the kids room and put it back where it belongs.
here we're gonna head into the living room and pick up this whole mess of toys and shoes and all that kind of wonderful thing stuff <laughs> So I really need to go through all the bins again, reorganize everything because we've just been throwing all the toys in, you know, whatever bins. Usually I have like my bins sorted through of like all the car toys go with the car toys, uh, the blocks and all that stuff, you know. So I like it organized, but right now it's like chaotic. Um, I fixed that shelf because like the pin came out so I had to put it back in so it can hold up and not break. Alright, so here I'm showing you my vacuum before I vacuum. It is empty, so I'll show you after when it is full. All right, so here it is all full. I lose a lot of hair, so most of that is hair and dust. So here it is, satisfying dump. Yes, <laughs> look at that. All right, so now I'm showing you my disgusting table. Um, it's quite a mess. 
Uh, my two-year-old loves to draw, which I let him do, but obviously you can see that he doesn't always draw on the paper. He loves to draw everywhere else but the paper. And this is where he eats. <laughs> yes, it's gross, I know. But you know, we're just gonna wipe everything down and get it all cleaned up. Alright, so now that the table is all nice and clean, we're just gonna head into the floors and just wash the crap out of them because, you know, very dirty, obviously, like the entire house was. All right now, so look at this water, how gross it is. I know I'm putting the dirty water in my clean bathtub. So I did wipe it down another time to make sure that it was actually clean and not dirty. All right, so this is my summer rug. So I forgot I had it and I saw it when I took the mud bucket and I was like, oh yeah, my summer rug. But it's kind of, you know, the bottom is like all ripped up. So it's not like laying flat like it should, but you know, it does the job, so. All right, so I did end up taking that black rug out of there. So here's the after.
all right my beautiful people that is all for today's video i really hope you enjoyed my uh, disaster clean with me i'm pretty hot and a mess so i'm just gonna have a coffee and relax for the rest of the day see you guys in the next one bye